Hey everybody. This is my 10 gallon office tank and I just got the lights turned on a little while ago and normally what I do is I get in here and I start collecting up all the snails that have come to the surface or come out during the night and then I take them downstairs and I throw them in Butterbean's tank, my figure 8 puffer downstairs in my brackish tank. Well, this morning while I was sitting here I felt something crawling on my leg and it turned out to be a little cricket. I'd just been out in the yard uh, we had some really bad storms last night. I was just walking around making sure everything was okay, and apparently I brought a little cricket in with me. So I threw it in the tank, and then realized like I should probably get this on film, because I don't think this angelfish has ever seen a cricket before. And it's a really aggressive angelfish. It chases the guppies around all the time. I don't ever have to worry about guppy fry in this tank anymore. Even the little endlers get harassed no end by that angelfish. So I thought for sure putting a cricket in here... Uh, would be a surefire way to get it to, you know, go after some surface food. That would be interesting. But it didn't. And now I think the cricket is right there. So let's see if we can get him back into the water surface. And then see what this angelfish does if it is on the surface. doesn't seem to be doing anything. Now I don't see the cricket but I did see it jump off of the plant, a floating water sprite. So it had to have gone into the water somewhere. And I still don't see it on top of the water sprite so I'm not sure what happened to it. Maybe it floated around and is behind the filter intake, but still on the surface of the water. You can see all the snails along the water line that I was talking about. I'm still going to have to get in here and get all those out. I have no idea where that cricket went. see it in there anywhere. I thought maybe it might have jumped up onto the underside of the hood or something, but I don't even see it there, so that is a mystery. Possibly it got out through the back where the filter intake was, but when I saw it jump off of the water sprite, it jumped uh, to the back right, kind of right above where the angelfish is sitting right now. So I'm going to go ahead and call that the end of this video. If I see it floating around again, or if I see the angelfish going after it or acting aggressive, I'll certainly grab the camera and try to get more footage of it, but so far that was it. So now I'm going to get on with collecting up all my snails uh, so I can go feed Butterbean, my figure eight puffer, downstairs in my brackish tank. So make sure you're subscribed, that way you don't miss anything i got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. And then, of course, don't forget this one here is my 10-gallon office tank. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for any updates. And I'll see you real soon in the next one. Thanks again.